Important items too, um, are medication. Um, of course, uh, you can buy, um, it's interesting because you go to the drugstore, you can always buy little, little uh, sample packs of medication and those are ideal to put into the kit. Um, so here, for example, uh, let's, let's see what we have. Important things are um, antihistamine, because if you go camping, of course, you want to you know, have this available in case somebody has a reaction. So here we have um, some antihistamine pre-packed. Um, here we have like for headaches or any kind of pain, you've got medication for that. Uh, aspirin's good. Aspirin's always good. Um, you can buy them in little sachets like this or just little sample tubes. And here's so it's just some, another example of an antihistamine. So medication, absolutely, you, I think you should include that into a basic first aid kit, very important. Um, lotions too, different kind of lotions um, should be included in, into your kit. Here I have um, sunscreen, very important, sunscreen lotion. Uh, if, you, if you don't have the tubes or the sprays, you can buy them in sachets like this. Just in, you know, This one is a 30 SPF. Uh, you can get very, very varying levels of SPF. But you know, as an example, just throw a few into the kit. Very important because you know, you go out into the sun without protection, and um, that's that's my you know recommendation that you should always put sunscreen on when you're out in the sun. And other other kind of lotions I think are important. Um, insect repellent. If you go camping, of course, insect repellent is very important. Um, you can also get um, uh, lotions that if you got slightly you know stayed out too long in the sun you want something some aloe vera lotion to cool off your skin um, lotions that for dry skin chapped skin you, you can buy these all in little sample sample sizes in, in the drugstore or little sachets just if you have room in the kit um, you should include those too okay so if you think that somebody has a fever you want to take the temperature well it would be good to have a thermometer to include into your kit. Now this is an old-fashioned, which I like, rarely you see uh, mercury thermometers nowadays, um, only because it's easy to break and the mercury can get everywhere and your mercury is carcinogenic. So very rarely that you can buy thermometers like this, really. Um, you can buy more of the, the paper type of thermometers uh, where you can just put that into your tongue and they're disposable. So they're disposable paper type that you could buy. And I think most of the kits that you buy, would, if they include a thermometer, they'll include the paper type into it. But definitely include a thermometer into your kit. You'll never know when it comes into handy.